so uh, I'm Brian and this is Mike and uh, we are the couple guys at Boca Bearings that uh, kind of have the bug for 3D printing lately. We've got some of the, uh, the projects here that we've uh, kind of collaborated on and built uh, recently. Typically we both build the same project, you know, one of us will find the idea uh, as to what the next project will be and then we will um, We'll both build one. Mike will show you now this cutaway Subaru that we did. This is a Subaru boxer engine. It's a four-cylinder engine. Everything was 3D printed except for the hardware and the belts and bearings. So right here you can see the pistons uh, firing. When you remove the cover, the valve cover, you can see the cams turning. And inside where the cams are turning, the valves are firing in sequence. have a flywheel that's being driven by a pinion gear connected to the motor. These here were kind of the projects that started all these uh, these jet turbines and uh, we've had 3D printers at work here for a while and the story is kind of Mike got a 3D printer for his house and uh, worked on this for I don't know what was it like a month or so or a few weeks. Uh, four to six weeks. Yep and, and brought this in and up until that time uh, we hadn't really done anything anywhere near this advanced on 3D printers, so that kind of threw down the, the gauntlet with this build. So of course I had to make one too, so between him and I now, we've probably made about five of these. I actually sent one as a gift to my dad, um, so we've made a few. So after that, I started building the engines, and then, you know, uh, as him and I do, Mike, you know, we'll build one too. And these two projects over here were the first kind of that we found the project at the same time. We both agreed to build it together, one each, um, starting with the Jeeps, um, 3D printed RC Jeeps, uh, very detailed, hundreds of parts, um, took probably about a month, everything works, you know. The engine's up here under the hood, which you'll see when you, when you come around. Um, so me being a, a Star Trek fan, I found this uh, replica of a warp core and I printed uh, all the files, there's even uh, LEDs wired up inside to make it look realistic. And this is just a fun showpiece uh, for my hobby. The latest actually completed projects were these tanks. Um, and these are probably the largest in size prints that we've ever printed. They're completely working. Um, you can drive them with an RC uh, RC controller. I think we've actually both put some videos up of them uh, in action. Um, they both weigh what, like nine pounds so a piece or something like that. Actually, fully weighed, they weigh, fully loaded. They weigh about twelve pounds. Uh, this was uh, this was over five hundred hours of printing, and probably ninety to one hundred parts printed with all all the assemblies with using several bearings in each assembly.